Are you feeling depressed, anxious, or down? What if I told you if some of the tastiest foods outside there can be your allies to fight depression and anxiety? Let's dive into five foods that fight your depression and anxiety. Hi, healthy people. Welcome back to our lovely channel, Triple H, how to be happy and healthy. With me, I'm Dr. Hans, as your nutritionist doctor, and now I'm gonna tell you about the five best foods that fight against your depression and anxiety. First thing that you need to know, like uh, many people now have uh, this, this, this issue, which is like a mood swing, like uh, the easiest or maybe the light, the lightest things that people experience every day, maybe men or women, then anxiety, or maybe even depression. And there are two scenarios that commonly happen when people experience this kind of things. First scenario, they will eat. Yes, eating either like a, it could be like a good good stuff or maybe a bad stuff. And the second scenario, second scenario is like many people will take antidepressant drugs or medication, which is this kind of thing. The antidepressant drugs only treat your symptoms, not treat your root cause which I'm gonna tell you, tell, tell you about like uh, in a minute. The first thing that you need to know, there is a big and very connect, connect, connection about like uh, our brain and our colon, which is what we talk about like brain and gut connection. This is the, the picture of your brain and your colon, which is there is a nerve that connected this, these two organs, which is our gut, all, and our brain, the 90% of what happened in your gut will impact your brain. And what happened in your brain, like uh, what you think, maybe like uh, if, if you experience like a uh, chronic stress, it will give impact like uh, slightly or maybe like uh, less or more about 10% to your colon, to your gut issue. So there is a nerve that called vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is a nerve that connected in a, our enteric nervous system between, between your brain and your gut. So you have to pay attention about like uh, what happened in your gut more because it can impact 90% to your brain, to your mood, uh, especially your cognitive as well. So when we talk about our gut, there is a microbiome, which is like uh, our gut flora that can really impact the huge impact to your brain because the largest number of our nerve after brain or outside brain is located in our gut. The second thing, our microbiome in our gut can make neurotransmitter like a GABA, serotonin, dopamine, acetylcholine, and etc. just name it. And the second thing, the third thing I mean, like what I said before, there is a bi-directional between our gut and our brain that like a bridge by our vagus nerve. Next things, our microbiome can mix B vitamins as well. So guess what? There are many people who experience like a cognitive issue, like a mental issue. They have a lack of vitamin B and it can cause by their eating habit as well. What kind of eating habits? high carbs, high sugar diet. It can deplete your B vitamins reserve in your body. Then, last but not least, your microbiome will impact your brain by inflammation. So if there is any kind of inflammation in your gut, like a gastritis, uh, then like a SIBO or anything, it can affect your mood as well. So the second scenario that many people use right now is taking antidepressant drugs, which is most of them are SSRI, which is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Unfortunately, the side effects of these drugs is many, such as like a gain weight, then GI symptoms, like a nausea, then vomiting, then dizziness, and also move, movement disorder. So 
what happened when we take the SSRI drugs like many people use when they have like a mental mental disorder and stuff like a anxiety and etc. The first thing that will happen in your gut, it will decrease your gut microbiome, which is it's not a good thing. The second thing, it will create alteration in your microbes. So in your gut, you you have like a many different kind of microbes, a good bacteria, a bad bacteria, a common cell, which is natural bacteria. But when you take these drugs as as our eyes, it could alter from the good bacteria into bad bacteria. Then the, the third thing that will happen when you take SSRIs, it will create or increase the inflammation in your gut lining, which three of these will impact to your like uh, the higher need of SSRIs. So what happened in this feature? A lot. Now I'm gonna tell you about the five best food that can create the good microbiome in your gut. Ready? The first food that I'm going to tell you is like about the, the fifth number. Then I will go to the, the first rank, the best one. The fifth best food for your mood is pumpkin seed. Yes. Why pumpkin seed? There are a lot of seed, but pumpkin seed is have the highest magnesium for the seeds. Because magnesium can improve your brain function and your mood regulation as well. Second thing, pumpkin seed has tryptophan, which is this is like a, the precursor of your serotonin. And the third thing, pumpkin seed has high omega-3, which is the omega-3 that inside the pumpkin seed is ALA. And this omega-3 can act as an anti-inflammatory in your body. The fourth food that good for your mood is berries family. Just limit like a blueberry, mulberry, raspberry, even strawberry can give a back, have a good impact for your body, especially for your mood issue. Why? Because berries has anthocyanidins that can inhibit your cortisol. Another thing, berries has high vitamin C, which vitamin C is like a good precursor for your serotonin and your dopamine as well. The third rank of the best food for your mood is dark chocolate. Well, not all dark chocolate create equals effect. What I'm gonna tell you that you need to pay attention is like a, what kind of dark chocolate. It will be much better if you could get like a sugar-free dark chocolate or dark chocolate which sweetened by like a stevia or monk fruit. Please stay away from like a high sugar dark chocolate. Dark chocolate in general, it has high magnesium, which it can increase your blood flow, especially in your brain. And it can also improve your cognitive function. And the specific things, substances, substances that has in a dark chocolate is PEA and theobromine, with it can, which it can increase your endorphins and serotonin release in your brain. The number two food that also good for your mood is egg. Yes, what I mean is whole egg. You should eat all in once, not only the egg white. If you're concerned about the cholesterol, we will talk about it later. But what I'm gonna tell you is the best food, the number two, is like a whole egg because it has vitamin B12, vitamin D, and selenium, which is three of them are really important, plays role in a nerve function and also a brain health. And the things, the substances that has in an egg, not in a other food, is choline. It's a choline in an egg, is a precursor to acetylcholine, it's, which is like a one of the our neurotransmitter that produce in our gut as well. And it can boost your cognitive function. And the second thing, the next thing in the act that really good for your brain is lutein and the cysteine that inside the act because it can reduce your depression and anxiety. And the last foot that the best foot that I'm going to tell you 
in this video is fermented foods. Yes, fermented foods, as I talked to you before, the probiotic that inside fermented foods, it can restore and rebalance your gut microbiome because your gut microbiome is really have like a huge impact to your brain. And aside that, the SCFA, which is short chain fatty acid, the byproduct that our gut have after after we got like a good bacteria, they 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 create like a, their metabolism. It can give us like the SCFA, the short chain fatty acid, because it can improve our gut lining integrity. And ninety percent of this can give our energy in our colon cell. Yes, it's it's your food for your colon cell, the short chain fatty acid from the byproduct of our bacteria metabolism. And the last things, it can also boost your production of neurotransmitter in your gut, which is serotonin is the much, the 90%. So what else that you can boost your production or maybe your e in your food, aside your food. There are some things that can boost your neurotransmitter, your e or maybe the good food that you have eaten, the, the five list that I told you. The first thing is doing fasting. Yes, why? Because fasting can improve your natural or endogenous antioxidant in your body. The second thing is regular exercise because it can pump your lymphatic system and also create like a many antioxidant in our body. And last but not least, you should have good quality sleep because like a good quality sleep will improve your function in your gut as well and your brain as well. And maybe if you want, if you want me to talk more about like uh, these three things, you can comment below and which one that you want me to talk about first. I'm Dr. Hans, stay fit and stay healthy.